Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Katie Painting. Today we are jumping on the OGA train. If you guys don't know what that is, Miniac is doing a cool thing this month where he's encouraging people to do games, uh, smaller games, games that aren't Games Workshop games. Uh, so that's that's all we do anyway. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. Now, I don't know the exact parameters of OGA. Um, I know that it, I think the spirit behind it is to get away from Games Workshop. We don't really do much Games Workshop here on the channel anyway, but uh, we're going to do something a little different today anyway. We are going to build Revenant Zombies for Silver Bayonet by Joseph McCullough. This is the same guy who does Frostgrave and Stargrave. This is an awesome game. I never thought I would ever do any historicals in any way. Uh, but then this came along, and I really wanted Napoleonic soldiers fighting werewolves and vampires. I didn't know I wanted that till I knew this existed, so this is great. Today, we're going to kitbash zombies into Napoleonic zombies. It's, it'll, it's weird, but I think they look pretty cool. Let's do it. So we're going to take our Napoleonic sprues, then we're going to take our, uh, yeah, Napoleonic sprues here, zombie sprues, graveguard sprues. Uh, cultist sprues and we're just gonna start snipping things off um, picking out pieces here like these legs uh, and then just kind of a lot of this is just like lining things up in your brain uh, snip off some legs here and then I'll uh, I'm gonna fray the edges and I'll just do that with my clippers here as you can see I'm not like a huge kit basher so this is kind of just having fun having fun which is what this should all be but either way so i just go through and see which things kind of fit uh leg here hands there just clip out things and i'm not going to use these zombies or these napoleonic guys for anything else so uh i'll clip off the tops of their heads though this part's kind of important i'll clip off so it's flat and then i'll take the guy, the Napoleonic guy's heads with hats on it, and I'll clip their head off of there. And then I will just glue the two together. Boom. Zombie with a hat. We did it. Now, once I'm happy with them all kind of put together, um, I will glue them to bases, prime them black, and zenith all them white. And then we'll go through and paint them. Here's the thing. I don't know anything about the historical times of... Uh, the Napoleonic Wars. I don't know what the costumes look like. The costumes, outfits, uniforms. Jeez. Either way, I did a little bit of research, but very little because the whole point of Silver Bayonet is you've created a team of specialists um, that are like the top of their field and everything. So it doesn't really matter for them to all match. If you want them to match and look like proper Napoleonic soldiers, go ahead. I don't care. So I'm going to just kind of make up my own color schemes, but they're going to be close enough to the British color scheme anyway. So most of this uh, statement doesn't matter. So first thing I'm gonna do is take Blood Angels Red. This is going all over their coat because they're red coats. I know that from history. Also, uh, I didn't use any of the Army Painter speed paints in this uh, particular video because I want to put washes on over top after and I don't want to wait days for them to dry or not dry because some of them reactivate uh, permanently because I don't have any of the 2.0 stuff yet. And we're going to take some Basilicanum Gray and this is going all over their pants. We're gonna take some plague bearer flesh here, and this is gonna go, yeah, on all their flesh. So any of those parts we kit bashed on, heads, hands, feet, anything like that, it's going all over it. And we're gonna take some black Templar. This is gonna go all over their hats. I'm also gonna throw this on their boots as well. And 
and we're gonna take some dead white I'm just gonna use this to uh, rewrite any of the uh, straps and stuff like that that we got red on and we're gonna take some glorious gold this is gonna go on the emblem on their hat it's also gonna go on I don't know what these things are called but whatever the band like the marching band stuff on their chest is it's going on there and it's also going on the little poofs on their shoulders again I don't know what they're called I cannot stress how little research I did into Napoleonic uh, uniforms I can't I can't even begin to tell you how little I looked into it I looked at like one Google image search of colors that's it so next we're gonna take some wild wood this is gonna go all over the gun stock and any weapons that I gave them that are made out of wood anything that's wood then we're gonna take some chain mail silver and this is going over all the uh, spots that we want silver pretty obvious the gun the knives anything like that maybe saying to yourself hey uh, you used chainmail silver. Why didn't you use gunmetal? And the answer I have to that is that I forgot I had gunmetal. Next, we're taking some space gray here, and this is going to go all over their facial hair or hair if they have any at all. Then we're going to take some tar gore rage shade, <laughs> uh, and this is going to just get coated over the entire miniature. Now we're gonna take some brown earth basing texture and then we're also gonna take some Agrelian earth here. So we're just gonna put that brown earth basing texture all over the base. We don't care if we get it on their feet, their shoes, it doesn't matter. And then while that's still wet, we're gonna throw on some of that Agrelian earth and we're gonna wait for this to dry completely. Once that is dried completely, you can tell because it'll be all cracked. We're going to water down some wildwood and make a wash with it. And this is going to go all over that base. We're going to take some glue and then we're going to just dip some flock in here. Just little patches. We're going to knock that all off and these guys are done. And for all intents and purposes, these guys turned out pretty cool. Um... They're a lot of fun to just kind of mess around with and make something new. And the proportions are a little different, but they're rotting weirdo bodies. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this guy turned out really good, actually. Um, These are a lot of fun to make. Uh, oh, this one's just a skeleton. So use a skeleton horde on the bone instead of the plague bear. But these are awesome. So I had a ton of fun making these, kit bashing them together. I think in the end I did like... 10 or 12 of them it's a fun project that's different than just building a miniature and painting a miniature it's a little bit more creative and fun if you have the bits and pieces for it um i, I really enjoyed doing this and it's kind of cool that like i can play the game now and they like the revenants actually look at the time period instead of just using like zombies from games workshop or something like that like um even though these are games workshop pieces they don't make miniatures like this if you were in the mood for a fun, uh, not too rules heavy skirmish game with a lot of uh, flair and a lot of character, Silver Bayonet, I highly recommend. Check it out. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. And we're going to take some, uh, yep. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we are jumping on board the, oh. oh. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. So, earlier this month, Scott, the Miniac, and my microphone is right here. Can you see this? I have to change that. That's ridiculous.